One of the most powerful things that I can share, what I've learned, we've gotten 80 million views online, 10 million views last month, and I have a multiple six-figure online business with my personal brand being an influencer. This is so powerful in your growth and personal development of what you should not care about at all. Um, only to a certain point. And here's what it is. I had this obsession with one of the most important things you want to do but be careful about is collabos with other people. And you want to gain the respect of other people in the space and people that have audiences. You want to become friends with them genuinely and <clears throat> become friends with them and do collabos even if you have to travel, if you meet them at live events. Because the more people that you can be on their social media and then be on your social media, it exposes you to their distribution networks. You're building your own distribution network, right? But if you can get exposed to other people's distribution network, you just being on one podcast or one show or being on one video can expose you anywhere from 10,000 to 50,000 to 5 million people in one video. <laughs> Imagine if you made that part of your strategy. But here's something you should not care about. Um, <clears throat> I would get upset and compare myself to other influencers in my space when you shouldn't be doing that at all. Comparison is a thief of joy, but also worrying about what they think. You are your own credibly and unique person. If you do your, your own thing and you be yourself with the volume turned all the way up, you pull in your own unique audience that's incredibly unique to you. So, and I'll just get to the meat and potatoes now that I've said that. I used to worry stress about if I'm friends or not, or what is my relationship standing with XYZ person that has a big YouTube channel or wanting to get into friendship with them or hoping I don't fall out of their good graces because, and this is a selfish thing to say, it was the truth, because I know, it might even be the survival part of my brain, knows that being friends with that person can help get me somewhere and I would like or give me access to more resources I'm just gonna say it for what it is right but if that's the only reason that you are being cool with somebody that you really shouldn't even give a shit about not not that you're disrespecting you just you do they do their thing you don't do thing you don't care if you ever talk to that person or those people ever again you don't care if you're you don't be clicky with them you don't care if you ever end up on their YouTube channel or not you don't care at all you do your shit, and you do it the best, and everything and everything you need will just flow. Because the stress that you invite into your life worrying about what you could potentially gain by doing a collab with that person or being on their video or, or just being cool or maybe they'll give you a shout out is not worth the stress at all. It's a complete, I want to cuss it, it's a complete freaking waste of time. You gotta cut them off. Cut them out of your mind and don't give a shit what they think because you're actually gonna pass them up. You're gonna pass them up. I don't know if I could verbally explain it. It's an experience that you have to go through. The people that are the most successful that have personal brands are the ones that are so uniquely tuned in to their gifts and talents and they do it with the volume turn all the way up. They're doing their thing. And those are the ones that other people look at and be like, wow, I wanna be part of that. It's because they're not asking for a permission or approval of anybody. They're not trying to be like anybody else. They're uniquely doing their own thing. So if you naturally become friends with other influencers and it just happens and it happens like magic, great. And you can invite them to do collabs. Hey, let's do this. You fly out here, I'll fly out there. We'll meet up here. We'll make some videos. Of course you want to do all that with the people that you're naturally cool with. But if you just aren't cool with them and you just feel that disconnect, you trying at all, almost like kind of like dating or something, I, I, like you trying at all to even be on their good side or get their attention or be worried that if you do or say something that they don't like, that it, it's going to ruin some future opportunity for you is... Is, uh, it's a 100% complete waste of energy. And I really wrapped, wrapped my head around this. And I've been watching my own social media go from a flat line to now really excelling and taking off. Because um, these people don't give a shit about you. <laughs> they don't care about you at all. 
they're not even thinking about you. If you do, if they do, it doesn't matter what they think either way. So uh, just do your thing. And when you do your thing uniquely, it's going to attract all the right people because you're in your zone and your shit's just going to take off. And then one day, here's the thing I learned. This is it. One day, they might actually come around and want to do a collabo with you. And instead of saying, no, screw you. You weren't there when I needed you. That's stupid business. That's dumb. You don't say, no, I don't need you because I do my own thing now. Like, it's, there's none of that. You say, huh, all right, let's do something. Then, boom, then your shit really takes off. It's about controlling your emotions. That's what I wanted to say. Oh, we're not.